USIGN tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video on how to use USIGN. USIGN is a cloud-based electronic signature platform designed to streamline and simplify the process of obtaining legally binding electronic signatures. The platform enables users to upload documents, add signature fields, and send them securely to multiple parties for signing. USIGN adheres to security standards to ensure the confidentiality and integrity of the signed documents. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we'll explore everything from the basics to the advanced features of USIGN. We'll guide you through the account creation process, help you navigate the USIGN dashboard, and demonstrate how to upload documents. In addition, we'll also show you the signing process of USIGN. Finally, we'll explain the different plans and pricing options available with USIGN. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using USIGN, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, click on the Start Free Trial button located at the top right corner of the page. You will be directed to another page. You can sign up with your email address as well as your Google account. You can select the option that best suits your needs. After signing in, you will be directed to the dashboard of your USIGN account. Now, you've successfully signed up for a USIGN account. You can now explore the platform, upload documents, and start utilizing the electronic signature features provided by USIGN. Understanding the dashboard will help you optimize your workflow and make the most of USIGN's electronic signature capabilities. You'll notice different sections like Signature, Inbox, Forms, Templates, Contacts, API, Billing, and more. Now, let's focus on understanding the status of your signature option. By clicking this option, a window will open at the right side containing all your signature requests, the option to add a new request at the top right corner, and filters to check the status of each document, whether it's pending, signed, or in another state. You can simply access one of your signatures using the search engine located at the top of your screen by specifying the name of a signatory or a document. Next is the inbox. By clicking on the inbox, a window will open showing you two options at the top named Action Required and Completed. Clicking on Action Required will show you the requests that need to be approved and signed. When you click on Completed, it will show you the requests that you have completed. Forms provides you with an opportunity to easily create and share forms with stakeholders to collect the necessary information. Each time the form is submitted, your standard document is automatically generated, filled, and ready to be signed. There is an option that allows you to create a form. If you frequently use templates, you can find them in a dedicated section. Templates streamline the process, especially for documents you use often. In the Contacts section, you can add contacts or import them in a CSV file. Once you add contacts, you will see them here. The USIGN API empowers developers to seamlessly integrate the entire electronic signature functionality into their own applications and enables users to electronically sign, send, track, and manage documents. You can use the API, webhooks, logs, and documentation to integrate USIGN with other platforms. By clicking the Billing option on USIGN, a window will open to the left side showing you different options like your account and field settings. You can also manage your company details such as settings, signature experience, people, workspaces, legal and compliance. Here, you can also upgrade your account. Now, let's see how to upload documents. Now that you have familiarized yourself with the dashboard, it's time to upload a document. Look for the Signature tab, typically located in the top left corner of the main navigation. Within the Signature section, you will find the New Request option at the top right corner of the screen. Click on the New Request button to open the file upload interface. A window will appear, allowing you to add the document you wish to upload. Click on the plus sign in the center of the page and navigate to the location of your document on your computer. After selecting the document, Click on Open or an equivalent button to confirm the upload. The document will then start uploading to the USIGN platform. Next, let's see how to sign documents in USIGN. USIGN allows you to invite one or more people to sign one or multiple documents. After adding a document to the Signature tab, you can start a signature request. When the document is open, a right side menu appears presenting options such as fields, approvers, and signers. 
Under the Fields option, you can add specific text fields to your document. This is particularly useful in instances where you need to insert your initials or any other specific information. For example, you can utilize this feature to add a space for the date, your full name, or even your company's name. Moving on to Approvers, this feature allows you to add individuals who are responsible for approving the document. The individuals chosen here possess the authority to review and approve the content of the document before it is officially signed off. This feature ensures that the document undergoes a thorough review process, thereby minimizing the likelihood of errors or inaccuracies. Lastly, we have the Signers option. This feature is used to add the individuals who are required to provide their official signature on the document. It's crucial to ensure that all necessary parties have signed the document to validate and enforce its content. Let's say you want to add a signer. To do this, click on the plus sign next to the signer's button. A window pops up, prompting for the email address of the signer. Insert the email of the individual you want to sign your document, then click Create. After clicking Create, you will be directed to a page to add the signer's details, such as first name, last name, and contact information. After filling in the required information, click on the Add Signer button. The signer is now added. To include multiple signers, simply repeat the process above. Once you've added a signer, additional options appear at the bottom of the right menu, including signature, text input, mention, checkbox, and radio button. To add fields to be filled in by the signers, click on the desired field in the right menu, for instance, the signature field. Simply click and hold on the signature option, then drag it to the part of the document where you want the signer to provide their signature. This will create a designated area for the signer to apply their signature. Once you've added the signature to the document, click the Next button at the top right corner of the screen. You can now move to the Settings section to change the name of the document, add labels, and create a custom message. Finally, click on the Confirm and Send Now button at the top right corner of the screen to send the document to the signer. The USign API provides a flexible and secure signature process that can easily be integrated into your tools or website. This facilitates a user-friendly signature experience, which can expedite your business growth. To initiate the integration, you need to create API keys. To do this, navigate to the API section within the USign dashboard. Clicking on API will direct you to a window displaying several options. API keys, webhooks, logos, and documentation. Select the API keys option. This will open a window where you can find an option to start your API integration for free in the center of the page. Click on this option and you will be redirected to the page outlining the process to create a new API key. The first step is to add a description for the API key. Next, select the environment in which the API key will be used. Your options are either sandbox or production. During the integration process, only the sandbox environment can be used. The Sandbox environment is a test environment of our API. You have access to the Sandbox environment for the duration of the free trial and maintain access once you become a customer. The Production environment is the live environment where users interact with the actual API and is used for live operations. The next step is to assign permissions. These can either be full access or read only. Full access should be selected as this will allow you to create or update resources. After finalizing these details, click on Create API Key, and your API key will be created. It is important to note that API keys are sensitive information and must be kept secure. Treat your API key as you would a password and avoid sharing it in public forums or through insecure channels. Once you have the API key, it can be integrated into your application or system. When it comes to plans and pricing, USign offers four diverse pricing plans designed to cater to a variety of individual, team, and business needs. The free plan allows you to start signing your documents online without any cost. It includes two invitations to sign per month, among other key features, making it ideal for those who have minimal signing needs. Moving up, the one plan specifically designed for all self-employed individuals comes at a cost of 11 euros per month. This plan balances affordability with an array of features tailored to solo entrepreneurs and freelancers. On the other hand, the PLUS plan is ideal for both self-employed individuals and teams. Priced at €30 Euros per month, this plan provides a balance of functionality and cost efficiency, catering to small businesses or teams with moderate signing requirements. 
Finally, the Pro plan, aimed at businesses and larger teams, costs 48 euros per month. This plan provides a comprehensive suite of features, making it the best choice for businesses with extensive signing and document management needs. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using uSign. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, 